nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and fellas How are we doing today? Hi, I'm doing pretty good I'm just leaving Fargo right now I was at the uh, Staymark here in Fargo make our way down towards uh, our delivery place. We should get in very close in a quarter mile distance to the right on I-94 East, I-94 West, and then to our the delivery place. Feet. And the reason uh, we're going to be in Iowa tonight, we are going to be in Iowa. And the reason being is... Uh, to the left on I-94 East. Well, we want to meet some uh, YouTubers slash subscribers tonight. That's right. That's the plan anyways. Everything has been set in motion to uh, meet up with them. So now we just got to make sure we get there early enough so we can actually meet them, right?
right now it's just more or less drizzling but it's right around the freezing point and I was looking at the radar while I was parked in that truck stop and a little bit past the interstate going that way like on the west side of this interstate there is a snow right now it's snowing right now so uh, I'm trying to escape that and we'll see if we will be successful looks like we got a hundred miles to go or 96 miles to go south till we reach that uh, US 18 till we can start going uh, east so we got a good ways to go yet but that's life as a trucker we cruise along and we cruise along and sometimes we tra travel in bed rider sometimes it's okay sometimes it's good sometimes it's nice and sunny sometimes we get ice rain <laughs> that does happen too on the odd occasion Right now we're good to go though. We hope we can keep it that way. Yeah! So we had our half an hour mandatory break. So we're going to uh, just cruise pretty good. Trying to get out of here. We're not going to waste too much time. That's right. Uh, almost a little bright, so let's put on our sunshade. There we go. Should be in business now, right? Holy smokes, this guy's got all kinds of black cards on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six black cards he's got on that truck. Holy smokes. I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> That's way too many placards. Plus, if you cross a scale like that, they're almost wanting to look at you because you got so many placards, you know. They want to make sure everything is in order, you know. But anyways, I'm just going to continue cruising along there. Hopefully the road will stick up, stay up nice the way it is right now. And we'll be safe out here. And we can make it to where I need to be tonight to meet my friends, fellow subscribers, YouTubers. Yeah, that's the plan anyways. Hopefully that will work out. We are on US 18 right now. We managed to pretty much escape the snow right now for now anyways. Don't know how long that's going to last, but... Uh, we got a little bit of ice rain there just before we got to 18, but as uh, soon as we left there, we were good to go. Yeah, that's right. We got 183 miles to go to uh, the truck stop in Clinton, Iowa, where we're going to be spending the night at. That's right. And I'm very excited to meet my friends. I am super excited. I can't wait. I've been just giving her. I haven't really stopped at all except for my half an hour mandatory break. Other than that, we've just been cruising. Trying to escape the snowstorm plus trying to get there as soon as we can, right? So we can meet up with these people and have a nice evening with them. And not sure exactly what we will all be up to, but uh, we'll definitely be doing some videoing of it, that's for sure. Because they are YouTubers too, and uh, hey, they want to get video of me, so I'll get video of them. <laughs> That's right, so you guys will get to see them. That's right, but to find out who it is, you'll have to stick around and watch the whole video, or maybe I'll even do a separate video of it. I don't know for sure yet, but I'll see. Because they released their videos, like, I think two days after or something like that. So maybe... Uh, so yeah, maybe we can uh, do a separate video and uh, maybe I'll release it the same day. Yeah. Anyways, I just figured I'd give you a little update on what's been going on here for the last little while. As you can see, it's still raining right now. 
but at least it's not ice raining that's good it's also uh, gone up one degree before it was zero now it's plus one. Oh, we got a trucker on the shoulder so we better move over yeah I hope he's all right he's got his auto open yeah anyways we're gonna go down there to the truck stop and see if we can find us a parking spot call it a day uh, we'll see where we'll go for our meeting guys we are coming into cedar rapids iowa that's right and it's still raining that's true as well <laughs> i talked to uh, the people that i'm going to be meeting later on and uh, uh they're still one to meet with me so looks like right now we're about an hour and a half away from their place and I will be able to meet up with them yeah it sounds like they're going to hold off on the uh, video as well for seven days so they're willing to uh, to wait for seven days as well so I think I'm not going to release a separate video I think that will be all put into this video as well so we'll have some awesome video footage on today's show I think at least that's what I think. Yeah, that's right. We got five minutes to four o'clock in the afternoon. A little bit of traffic up here in Cedar Rapids right now, but I don't know. Now we're just cruising right along. They say we got 81 miles to go. And we'll find our way to the truck stop. Yeah, yeah. They're calling for a big snowstorm up here, like I said a million times today. So I bet you guys are getting tired of hearing me say that, but I don't really like it. <laughs> you know, all this rain and then we get snow or ice on top of that. That's going to make for a treacherous uh, highway, you know. It really will. Anyways, we'll make our way down there and we'll see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we are here in uh, Clinton, Iowa at the uh, Applebee's uh, restaurant and we are here with our subscribers. Hello, Hello YouTube. <laughs> Hello YouTube. <laughs> hey, so you guys know who they are? Explain who you guys are. My name is Chuck. My, na this is oh. my, my name is Angie. Yep. And we've been YouTubers since, uh, actually, we had an original channel for her under her full name for six years. And we found out we did everything wrong with it. Okay. So, so we got talking back in uh, late July, early August. We were debating of redoing or do a whole new channel. And that's how we came up. We started it. We opened it up on September 28th of this year. And uh, we put our first video out just the day before her birthday. Oh, okay. and that. So that's basically how uh, we got started. And we let Jukebox know and it seemed like the word got out. If it wasn't mm -hmm. for Jukebox and you, I don't think our channel would have got off the ground as fast, I think as fast as it is because it took us six years to get 15 subscribers and we got 47 subscribers basically in the last almost two months. Wow. So Did you guys notice what they're wearing? That's hockey jerseys. Hockey we're, jerseys. We're wearing old school Quad City Mallets hockey jerseys. They, <laughs> and Chicago Wolves uh, hats. And Chicago Wolves uh, hats. These are, this is the minor league teams yeah, that we that. always go to. And we're diehard Blackhawk fans. Sorry oh. for your uh, J Winnipeg Jets fans and that. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear that? They're not even on my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, we're just getting started here. We're going to have a nice evening here, right? Yeah, yes. we're going to have a nice, nice dinner. And, yeah. and we'll do some more vlogging in a little bit here. Then about 92, then uh, about 92, then I moved to uh, Clinton. Then about 96, I well, actually, it started in 92 at the at the local minor league baseball games here. We got the local baseball team called the Clinton Lumber Kings. Okay. Uh, affiliate of the Seattle Mariners for right now. And uh, I, noticed, I started noticing this lady here going up and down the stairs. I said, 
my dad just, uh, this is before my dad passed away. Then I started noticing her, then all of a sudden about a couple years, I didn't... Oh, that hey, lady? Yeah, this lady. Me! Yeah, this lady right here, yep. Because and, that lady, I go, me! Yeah, then, then about, uh, then about, uh, uh, I would say about 96, it was just shortly after my dad died, and my mom was kind of in the funk somewhat, and I said, I gotta do something to help my dad out, just say, hey, uh... I just about June there was a local casino. It was on it was on River Bowl at the time. Right now it's land base. Mm -hmm. But I went over to the River Bowl, grabbed some free baseball tickets, and I just passed. I just came up to her, sitting down. She was watching the game and said, "Would you like to have a baseball ticket coming in uh, for an upcoming game in later in June?" She goes, "Yeah, I'll have one." Then it turned out they did a, a cash prize drawing and she won the cash prize of five oh, for five hundred bucks. Five hundred dollars. Oh, wow. But there was a little controversy with the ticket because somebody had tickets had the same winning ticket but it was printed someplace else and the casino had theirs and I told her I kinda came in her defense saying that I got the tickets for her and I got her at the casino. Someone else got theirs around town so they had to decide mm -hmm. Well, the casino was a legit ticket, but the other lady had to settle for, they gave her, you know, kind of $250 to say, uh, can you settle for $250? Kind of hush money. Oh, wow. Because it was a misprint of the ticket, because uh, they think it was a misprint of the ticket, because they had issues with the tickets when they were distributing them, and oh, they were double numbers. So when they drew the number, <laughs> both, as we, both of us was there at the game. So oh, when they drew the number. So that was kind of a uh, test to her, hey, I got, the, I got the ticket for her. And we've been uh, kind of parted off a little bit, off and on. Then about 1999, she broke up with her other boyfriend, and I was there to pick up the pieces. Oh. And then we've been together since, basically. Nice, nice. Apparently we're married by law, in a way, but we're not, <laughs> we're not married. It was like a long-time boyfriend-girlfriend deal, but yeah. by law we're considered married. In a way, okay. hey Chuck, you're the, you're, it was your idea to start this channel, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the idea to start this to start the channel, and I said when I saw daily lives through truckers and other people, I said why don't we do something our own? Because I don't really see a channel at you know at our life level because everybody else is flaunting fancy cars, fancy homes, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's just show what a couple is struggling in a small apartment, basically, and in a small town. Because yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of people has a myth going on. There's a big myth, of course, when you live in Iowa, people think, oh, everybody's a farmer. But, you know, <laughs> there's, there's some city folks oh, in, yes, there is. There's city folks uh, in some cities, and there's, I bet you there's people in this town has never seen a day in a farm because they've probably never been outside. The, mm -hmm. the comfort zone of a, of a small town or a city. Yeah. Just like when you go to Chicago or New York or even up in Winnipeg and Toronto. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. you know, nobody has never seen a farm. So What kind of job do you do? I'm between jobs right now, oh, basically. Okay. Because I had some health issues. I talked to Jukebox about oh, okay. uh, some health, I had some health issues. Mm -hmm. But I used to work over at a subcontract company called the Skyline Center, Inc. Okay. and they would help the mentally challenged and I was one of the temporary workers it was a temporary it was like a temporary job for 12 years and so basically they oh, kept wow. me they, they had a chance to hire me on a couple of times I said you know the stress of dealing with other temps you know something about one thing about temp work is when you have to supervise a bunch of temps it's almost like people come in with huge egos in that they think they're greater than you, you don't realize you've been there the longest, that's why you're a line lead and all that stuff. The mm -hmm. job just got so stressful, I had uh, major anxiety attacks over it, and I had to step down. And now, because of that, my weight ballooned up to almost 300 pounds, and I got it down to 275. This morning I weighed myself, I'm down to, I was down as of this morning uh, at 273. Oh, He's been nice. walking a lot. And I've been walk, doing a lot of walking. And when you contact me on Facebook and call, and I give you the number to call me, yeah. I just got done walking you from Walmart <laughs> that's behind here. There's Walmart behind here at Applebee's. Mm -hmm. I just got done walking from home to Walmart and back. And oh, that's, nice. that's about uh, close to about five to six miles round trip. Oh, wow. And that. So it's one of my longer walks. You, usually the other one is about four and a half, five miles. So 
I average about six, seven miles if I could. Sometimes I do it once in the morning, once in the evening. That's a lot of walking. <laughs> but uh, I do have a book uh, on on on. Are you doing, I've got a chicken basket. Okay. All right, so uh, right here. All right, American Standard. Uh, it's me. Right here. And then I've got the baby back ribs. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Nice. Enjoy it. I like your races. Jersey's Thank got you. going there. Yep. Have you thought about another beer at all? No, I'll, I'll go with a Pepsi. A Pepsi? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But That's what I said. Yep. <laughs> so basically, after 12 years of that going mainly nowhere and I just got so stressed out I just got bummed out and all that stuff but I do have a book I'm planning on studying and getting a CDL hopefully eventually oh, okay. that, but the only problem is I have high blood pressure but if I can get my weight down and get my blood pressure down so my doctor says I think he's fine with this and see what the DOT says yeah. and all that stuff just have to see what the DOT physicals has to say but they said, as of right now, I would flunk the, the blood the blood pressure test. And okay. Tupac said, can you take medication for it? And I told him, my dad took medication for blood for high blood pressure, and it, it basically put him in the grave. Yeah. Because the doctor is having trouble regulating the uh, regulating the, the blood pressure, basically. Who's going to take and a that, picture of the food? Oh, yeah. Hey, we got to take a picture of our food. We got a yeah, food wall. Yeah, that's right. We do a food we wall. We do on, a food wall. <laughs> we do a food wall on, on Yeah, Facebook. look at that. We are having some baby back ribs. That's a full stack. And you are having yep. some burgers, right? Yep. And, and what did you have? Chicken. Chicken uh, strips, eh? Yeah, chicken yes. strips. Nice. So we're going to get to eating here very soon. We got to do the closing as well for my end. So here we are. With Angie, yeah, it was nice meeting you guys. Nice yep, you guys. Sure. thank you for dinner and that, and I hope you come back for another visit. Yes, yes. So if you guys uh, don't know who they are, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description below, and they go by uh, Chuck and Angie's show, right? Yes, yes. Angie and Chuck's show. Yep. And the Angie and Chuck's show. All right. And uh, I gotta remember, I gotta go. I have to do some editing on my video. Basically, mm -hmm. we're gonna do. Uh, Make sure we got to get a link to your show, too. So I'll do that editing at home, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. So her, uh, their their mom is here. So they're going to leave here right away. So it was nice meeting you guys. And uh, check those guys out. They need some subscribers as well. Their goal was 50 for this month, right? Yeah, we're going to be a little <laughs> behind on that. But we're ahead on our views. Yeah, there we're, you go. We're ahead on our views. So one goal is met. The other goal is a little lagging. But we'll make it up. All right. So we'll catch you guys all a little bit later. Well guys, that is gonna bring this show to the end of the day. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I had a blast meeting these people and uh, talking to them. And uh, yeah, it was a very, very nice, fun evening. I really did enjoy it. We had a nice meal and got some nice talking and uh, all that good stuff. So. Uh, with that being said, uh, we are closing the show. So I hope you liked it. Give me the thumbs up if you did. Hit that share button. And also hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. We would love to have you on board. And I will definitely leave a link down below for their video and their channel. So you can check it out. And let them know if, I, uh, if you're going over there. And if you uh, subscribe to them, let them know I sent them. I sent you their way so they know it comes from me yeah so they will appreciate that but anyways that's about all we got for today so we'll see you again tomorrow have a good one everybody it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come